Man, another week, one more rivalry, uh, and it's November. Um, I think we all know what time that is in the SEC, man. Some big time matchups. So we're joined and honored to be joined by none other, Mark Beard, Georgia Old Tackle, man, to come in and talk ball with us. What's up, bro? What's going on? How are everybody doing tonight? What's good, bro? Welcome to the show, G. Yes, sir. Yes, What's sir. Up, big man? blessings. Big blessings, man. We got we got to start it off then with the big matchup, the biggest, the biggest matchup of of, of the week. Um, Tennessee, Georgia, man. Uh, Tennessee headed to Georgia. Mm -hmm. I know you got a lot to say about that one, Mark. Man, what's your take, man? How you feeling this week? Man, your guy? it's a it's a big one, man. It's a big one, but I I think Georgia we're gonna be great on defense. I think Kirby doesn't put out a, a bad defense never. So. I think we're going to be really solid on defense. Uh, if we get some receivers to catch the ball, no drop passes, and make Tennessee earn their plays. Because you see Tennessee scores off a bunch of big plays. So we got to make them earn it. If we, if you we get what you earn. It, that's it. Yeah. You get what you earn. So if we make them earn it this weekend, I think George will come out there with a big win up in there after George college game yeah. day. Yes, sir. And this weekend, Hooker will earn the Heisman. Ooh, yeah, that sir. big, big that weekend big, for the twenty fifth. Hey, that dude, hey, that dude, always been a hater, right though, man. Y'all know it, man. Them hater shades. <laughs> calling how I see they it, are, man. Just they, calling they, how I see it, man. They, they always on. They always on. So Just I like calling how I see it. I I understand. So I think Georgia, we make them earn it, man. And guess what? If Georgia win this game, they'll be making a move about Stenson being there afterwards. Because oh, he'll man. be the highest in the for one. The blind side. Man, what's what's the feeling around Athens right now, man? I mean, I, I know y'all boys ain't scared. Y'all done been here before, so what's the feeling, man? Man, it's electric right now, man. I mean, mm -hmm. everybody going up. Uh, Everybody be there Saturday, man. Mm -hmm. We 2.30 slide, 3.30 Eastern time. So it's, it's going to be crazy in Athens, Georgia. CBS game of the week. Y'all already know. Have fear to play on CBS. Like, that's the way you want to play. Primetime TV. So, uh, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be one for the ages, man. I mean, now it's one versus two, you know. So, hey, one versus two in Athens, Georgia. 95,000 in the stadium. Let's get it. Let's get mm. it. Yeah, man. Boy, you got me hype, man. The SEC mm. ball, man. You got to love it. T, what you got, bro? Man, I'm, uh, I like what Mark said, you know, about Georgia and – Obviously, Georgia's the home team. Um, I just, I just, man, I, I, I want to go Tennessee because I believe that they, they'll make those big plays. I don't think um, Georgia being spread out with the splits that Tennessee gives and the shots that they'll take down. But I haven't seen Georgia DBs be great down the field this year. They definitely gonna get tested. A spread is eight. I'm going to have to roll with my guy smooth. I think Hendon Hooker earns the Heisman this week. I ain't going to say cover spread, but I'm going to take Tennessee by three. Yes, sir, man. Yes, sir. Um, rolling with Tennessee, man, like the spread said, the spread is eight. I think they definitely go cover that uh, when it was a draw. But, I, but, but I'm, going, I'm going with Tennessee, man. I'm going to tell you how this is going to play out. Tennessee will win this game. They gonna go to the SEC championship, play against Bama. It's gonna work out in, in Georgia's favor. They will lose to Bama. They're not gonna beat them twice. They gonna lose to Bama. Georgia gonna end up going to the playoff, bro. That's how this gonna play out. Hooker mm -hmm. will have a, great, a, a good game this week, man. I, I I fully believe that. Um, he's a very seasoned guy. Um, I think it's his time to shine. They got the thing rolling. I think they gonna make it very easy for him, uh, offensively on what he does well. So that he gets that comfort, because you know you got to go in there with some plays to get the quarterback confidence, man. On the road, two thirty game, he know it's gonna be riding, man. You know it, you know it. They they didn't play in the game already versus Bama. They know how it's gonna be. So I just feel like, man, it, it, it really is gonna be. It really is gonna be. Uh, <clears throat> that's what I'm saying. Yeah, home game. So they know how it is for Bama to be on the road and stuff. So I feel like it is gonna be a, a, a excellent game, but it comes down to quarterback play. And I feel like Tennessee has a better quarterback, and I think that's what's going to put him over the top. Mm. Mm. Man, I love the take. Uh, man, we got we got two guys on, on Tennessee's bandwagon. Y'all know the whole season, man. I've been against Tennessee. Um, I hopped on the bandwagon last week because I felt I had to, uh, but I'm back <laughs> off this week. 
I'm going with Georgia at home, man. Mm. I know, again, I love the quarterback. I love everything Tennessee got working for them. But uh, oftentimes in the SEC, bro, it's about have you been there before? And them guys out of Georgia, head coach, then staff, tight end. Um, I think, you know, I know they're young on defense, but but I think overall those guys been there before. They know how to win the big matchups. Um, the spread, the spread is, like you mentioned, T8. Um, I take them covering the spread, man. Don't know how, but I, I, I take them covering the spread. <laughs> Vegas knows something. <laughs> Vegas knows some. Vegas knows right. You better keep your money with Vegas. That's what you better do. Keep it with Vegas. Isn't it? Man, fellas, fellas, the battle of the two oldest damn quarterbacks in college football. I feel like we all play play with both of them boys, man. How old they is. But one thing I can say, man, um, I do have a lot of respect for Kirby, man. Even just going back from when I was getting recruited and then when they turned around and my little brother was getting recruited there at UGA. And, but I'm gonna have to go with Tennessee, man. And why I'm going with Tennessee is the fact that I feel they, that they can beat you in many ways, man. They can do it by a thousand, depth of a thousand paper cuts and they can go explosive plays over the top on them. And I feel like UGA back in would not get challenged the way that Tennessee would challenge them this year during this week of this game. And I feel that that quarterback, Hendon Hooker, is something special right now. He's having a special year. True enough, he's seasoned enough. He's old enough. So it, the experience has kicked in. He got 25 touchdowns. Um, he's accounted mm -hmm. for 25 touchdowns, 21 of them being passing touchdowns with four rushing touchdowns. And 14 of those touchdowns coming from that wide out Hyatt and true enough, he probably got half of them against the Alabama game. But what they did against Alabama, man, look at him. Respect to that, man. And I just feel that their offense is explosive. And I feel like Georgia is going to do the um, game management offense, let their defense win type deal. They pretty much, the way it looks to me, that they just really want to run the ball, dump it off to the tight end every now and then. It may hit you over the top of the tight end. They got a hell of a tight end. But. The way Tennessee can do it, man, I feel like this week is going to be Tennessee week. Man, bit more. How, how, how Kirby getting them boys prepared right now, man? What's the mindset? Is them boys like, like, is it, is it lackadaisical around there right now or what, man? Man, Kirby, man, y'all know Kirby going to get them up for a big game. But if you don't see the electricity in Kirby every in each Saturday, how fired up he get. Kirby, coaches play, players play like coaches. Yep. Kirby is a fired up guy all the time. I mean, I don't know if y'all read his mouth a lot of time, but Kirby cuss like a sailor. <laughs> and guess what? Them boys play like some pirates over there. So you got to <laughs> check them boys out, man. Them boys going to play with a bunch of fire. And they going to – good thing I liked about the Florida game. Kirby brought a bunch of different blitzes, and them kids got there. Richardson, probably the most athletic quarterback in the SEC this year. Yeah, we didn't get the sack all the time, but I like the different stunts and pressures he was bringing. The pit pressure, because Hooker, he's not going to get out of there. Hooker's not going to get out of these sacks this week. Not at all. He's going to be on the ground a lot, and that's going to play in Georgia hand. And I think – Georgia O line is a better O line, probably probably the best O line Tennessee would play all all year, and Stinson be protected this week. We just got to count on guys to catch the ball this week. That's it. It is, man. Speaking of Florida, the quarterback, um, I know they've had a a, a rough year um, based on kind of what they started off as and what people expected. Um, what's everybody's take? Florida headed to. Um, Headed to Aggie, Aggie Land, man. Texas A&M, and, and you got Jimbo, Ron. What you think? Uh, uh, I'm taking Florida in the upset. Um, I don't know. I just feel something. And I'm not really sold on Texas A&M. I, mean, I know they found the quarterback. Unless they feel like they found the quarterback in the freshman. Um, but for some reason, something's telling me to just go and take Florida on the road uh, for a big upset win. Man, they got to figure out a way to make their season somehow. And it can't just come with Florida State. So I feel like, you know, being a, a, a Florida fans, they 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 want to see Jimbo, you know, being an old FSU coach. I think they want really want to, you know, 
put that that cherry on top, man, and, and beat them down at home. Yeah, man, I second. I'm taking the Gators, man. I take Florida Gators going in and and, and uh, beating those guys. Um, I take them by seven as well. Spread is three and a half. I take them by a touchdown, man. Florida Gators. Richardson has a big day. Yeah, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I'm going the other way, man. I'm going. I'm going A and M, man. I think. Uh, I don't think Jimbo them far off. They, they definitely got some issues uh, to work out. They had, they they did have a quarterback uh, play uh, subpar uh, last week against Ole Miss, which is better than what they've been getting. So uh, I'm taking I'm taking A and M. Just the fact that they'll be it's a home game for them. Uh, Florida ain't showed me nothing. So. <laughs> So I definitely got to go A&M on this one. Big Mar, what you thinking? I like Florida. I mean, Texas a and doesn't have an offensive line. Um, besides Richardson, the DB over there on defense, I mean, you can push them around. I think Florida, just seeing them play the last few weeks, I think Florida got – a lot of good. I think Dan put a, a nice little team over there for Bill and Napier years, and uh, I think they'll beat them. They'll get them. Man, fellas, I feel like um, Texas A&M will pull this out, man. feel like it's enough people and enough little chirp going around about Jumbo right now. You got Lane calling him out. Somebody want to be joking for, calm, for his costume and stuff like that, and just being honest guy – Guys, man, only person I see on Florida that they have is that quarterback. And not saying Texas A&M got a lot more, but the thing is, it's in Texas A&M. Florida got to go to Texas A&M and beat them. I'm going with the home team in that seat getting a lot hot on Jumbo. Don't think that they're going to get rid of them no time soon because of the contract and all that. And plus, established um, head coach like him, he, he, he deserve another year. So... With that saying, man, I think Jimbo going to stand up this week. We can't be so quick to get rid of these coaches, man. Who, Where would Texas A&M go anyways if they tried to get rid of Jimbo right now, man? Uh, another showdown, man. We got number six, Bama, head of the LSU. Um, mm. I think, you know, obviously LSU knows how important this game is. They always, always get up for Bama. Um I like I like what LSU got. I know Smooth mentioned earlier in the year, man, that they're not far off. Um, I don't think so either, but I definitely don't think they got what it takes, man, to, to play with Belma right here for four quarters. Um, I don't know what the spread is. Um, 13 and a half. But I take Belma covering, man, uh, at LSU. I'm sure it's a night game. It's going to be a great one, but I take Belma. Yeah, I'm a uh... – I'm going to rock with Bama, too, man. Strictly off of LSU coming out slow. They got to get better at starting the games, man. You can't be spotting these teams. Not a good teams are that 14, 17 points, man. It, it just ain't going to work. But I think Bama has solved a problem or at least put a, a, a bigger Band-Aid over it. You know what I'm saying? Making that change at corner, man. They took out number three, man. He's from my hometown. He just he's just a little wet behind the ears right now, but he's gonna be something special. And they put in the transfer, Elias Ricks, who came from LSU. You know he's gonna play with a lot of heart, a lot of emotion, wanna come back, wanna let him know, you know, this what left. So I'm gonna take Belma um and LSU. I do think it will be closer than a lot of people anticipate. Uh Brian Kelly has been doing a, a great job with the team, and I know he had him ready to play. He finally feels like he has a team that can compete with other SEC teams. You know what I'm saying? So I, I I'm still taking Bama, but I think it will be a close one. Man, I'm I'm, I'm gonna go Bama too, man. And I think um the loss that Bama took to Tennessee, I think it's only gonna help them down the road. I think it's gonna help them play in an environment like LSU's gonna bring at seven o'clock uh Eastern time down in Death Valley. Uh, I think the DBs being challenged by Tennessee uh, within that loss will help them because LSU got some talent at wide receiver. Um, so I think that's definitely going to help them. I don't know that it'll be 13 and a half. 
I probably a little closer to that. I probably say like ten or twelve or ten. But uh, I'm gonna go Bryce Young and uh, Alabama this week against LSU, man. There it is, Ken. What you got? Man, fellas, I'm going with Bama, man. I'm going with Bama, and it's not going to be close. I feel like they're still pissed off of that loss that they had took. And just to be honest with LSU, what all LSU got really besides that quarterback? And that quarterback, he's a hell of a player. Don't get me wrong. he's He attack you through the air and attack you on the ground. And no I mean, he only had one interception out of the whole year. And we see when he cannot pass the ball, he will run it, and he – is the leader on his team, as in the Russian leader on his team at quarterback. But the thing is, though, when you look at dynamic quarterbacks and elusive quarterbacks against Bama, if you got a Cam Newton, yeah, you could beat him that way. So my thing is, mm -hmm. I don't think Daniel's nowhere near as Cam Newton, and I feel like they just don't have that much talent. And Bama got Bama got the the um former Heisman winner, as in Bryce Young, and then that running back that they got Gibbs and just the weapons that Bama has, man, Bama gonna they gonna make it not even close. Mm. Mm. Ma, uh, man, I I look at it a little different. You know, I I play big boy ball, so I, I like looking at the trenches. And uh, okay. I think I think I think LSU, I think they probably gonna be the most athletic defense Alabama plays all year and. If they can get pressure on Bryce, which I think I think Bama offensive line has fell out tremendously the last two years. Like I'm used to a first round, at least two first rounders on Alabama offensive line every year. So they don't have that now. And Bryce, I think LSU, I think LSU got a chance, but it's how potent their defensive line can be on the Bryce and how much time they're willing to give them because you look at the Mississippi State game. You look at the Tennessee game. I mean, 11 seconds is a long time to cover somebody. Y'all know, mm -hmm. I don't think the greatest DB of all time can cover somebody for 11 seconds. So, if Bryce, if, if they, I'm telling you now, if they rush three to four and can't get pressure with three to four, it's an easy win for them, period. Mm -hmm. But if they can get pressure on Bryce, it'll make a dog fight. And LSU got a shot in the dog fight, but I don't think they receivers will let them win it because they, they drop a lot of balls over there at LSU. So I think Bama on the win on that. Man, Bama on the win. Um, another SEC matchup we got, man. A lot of people not talking about it, but it's still another showdown in my opinion, man. You got Eli, Missouri against Mark Stoops. I'm a UK fan, man. <laughs> A lot of toughness those guys got over there. What's y'all take, man? UK headed to Missouri, man. What's your prediction? What's your take, T? Uh, you said my showdown. <laughs> this is a showdown. Uh, it's 11, I, I, it's a, hey, it's 11 o'clock showdown, baby. AM. Nah, I, I, I don't see it being no showdown, man. Um, I, I think, like you always say, Vegas may know something. The spread is only one. So it's, it's anticipated to be a close one. I, I'm not a believer in, in, in Missouri and Eli, man. I know he got some ties, you know, Auburn, and that's why we joke about him. But uh, Levis turned the ball over a lot, man. Um, I know he does. When they got that kid, Rodriguez in Worst there. Worst part of Kentucky. Yeah, yeah. But when they got that running back in there, man, uh, the Rodriguez kid, they're a different team, man. And um, I think they, they need to lean on him going forward. They – I think the hype that they thrown out there, like the Todd McShay, the Mel Kuyper, with with pumping Will Levis up to be this 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 top three quarterback, you know, top ten lottery pick, um, kind of weighs in on them getting pass heavy at times. We seen when they run the ball, when they do what they did in Mississippi State, you know, they they handle the business. So if they hand the ball off to that cat back there, man, uh, I like I like them winning by 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 two touchdowns, man. Uh, and I think they'll do that. I think Stu understands that, and I think that's what they'll do. They're just going to pound Miss, uh, Missouri. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to ride with the same thing, man. Uh, I'm going to take Kentucky. Uh, I do think I do think Eli has the program going in the right direction, but I just – I just don't. I, I just don't want to go against Kentucky, man. I think. I think that Mark Stoops has has some 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 talent over there, and I just 
can't see him dropping two, you know, especially after getting embarrassed like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure he's on him this week. And I'm sure they ready to get that bad taste out of their mouth, to be honest. So, um, Missouri just beat South Carolina, which was a, a big win on the road. But um, I think I think they're going to be, you know, you know, a little comfortable this week, I would say. And uh, I think I think Kentucky going to come in there with an edge and, and, and steal a win, even if it's by one point. <laughs> so, I'm taking Kentucky. Yeah. The smart people always go with Vegas. I definitely think it's going to be a close one, man. Uh, Eli's got Missouri playing ball. I don't think they'll come in lax. Uh, but I think Mark Stoops, UK and the Wildcats will pull it off somehow. So taking UK for the win. What y'all thinking, hmm. fellas? Um, man, I'm going UK. I'm going UK mainly because of the running back. And I'm right there with T, that, that kid, Chris Rodriguez, young cat. Um, He's hella of a hell of a football player. And um, I know everyone sit there and talk about Will Levis and everything. I'm not really big on him. I know they got him, him all world being the next everything, but I don't see it. But I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Kentucky over Mizzou. Feel like Mizzou is a is a bit off right now. Just a little little more time before they before they sit here and say that we're here. But um, all respect to Eli though he he does have the program going in the right way. But I'm gonna go with UK. Well, I'm going to be the eyeball on this thing. I'm going to take Missouri Tigers on this thing. Uh, watching Missouri week in and week out, Missouri has played a dog fight in every single game. And they are one or two players from winning this thing. Probably being an undefeated team right now because they haven't lost by a margin of, what, seven points to anybody this year. They, they play hard. They play hard for this guy. They do a lot of good things. And I think the key to this game is if they create a dog fight with Kentucky, Will Levis will give them the game. So I'm going to take Missouri Tigers because they're going to play in the dog fight. Will Levis has showed me an old Miss game. He showed me even in this Tennessee game, when it's time to make a play and be a first-round quarterback, he he's not it. He's not it. So Missouri create a dog fight, Missouri wins the game because Will Levis is going to give that ball up some kind of way in the air or on the ground. He's going to get that ball. Mizzou, those guys doing something right over there, man. Eli, one of the best staffs in the nation. I'm going to give Luke the credit. <laughs> oh, man. I'm giving it the link, man. Those guys together. All right. um, Man, last but not least, the Tigers, man. It's been a lot of uh, <laughs> lot going on this week, man. We, we finally let go of the head guy. Um, I know it's, it's it's put the you know the program at a place where we don't know what's next, man. But they decided to um, make Calac Williams the uh, the interim head coach, man. So, what do we think about that? What's what's the feeling around our Tigers right now, man? I know we got a bulldog in here, but what do you see? What you see? What you see, Mark? When you're on the outside, man, are we the joke of the SEC or what? Uh, nah, I tell people all the time, uh, if you watch Auburn football, you understand that, uh, 29 and 25 are two monsters. And I love to see 29 and 25 play every Saturday. Uh, I also like 50. I think that defensive front creates a lot of plays, but as games go on with three and out, of course, the defense get tired. But, uh, I think with Calette, Calette making history right now. I mean, he might be interim head coach. But to me, he's their first black coach. So, yeah. Cadillac's making history this weekend. And uh, I think the boys are going to feed into a guy that, you know, played in the same colors, bleed in the same colors. And they're going to play out. They're going to play with a different kind of fire this weekend that um, we haven't seen out of Auburn. So, to be honest with you, I'm going to take Auburn this weekend because I think we're going to make history – with first head black coach. I think uh the kids gonna play with a different spunk for this guy that we haven't seen all year. And I think uh 29 and 25 and 50, they're three dominant players. I think 29 and 25 probably are gonna be first round draft picks and they're gonna make all the difference in the world in this game right here. So I like oh. Auburn in it. I'm gonna be honest with you. I like Ooh, Auburn. What a take. 
What a tape. Yeah, like, what a uh, tape. What a tape. Yeah, I'm full first of it. Round, but I, 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 man, 29, first round all day. 25 <laughs> coming right behind him, man. It, it's, I mean, it's, it's nightmares, man. It is nightmares. Hmm. Very interesting, man. Your tape actually has me thinking, considering about taking them, man. But I've been watching Auburn all year. I know it. I and know it. Uh, I know, you know how I could be to, to get some release. Uh, I ain't going to say a cancer, but I know how I can be to, you know, get led in another direction. How much could that change in a week? I don't know. Uh, will the kids play harder? A little different, of course. But that's go, you know, probably last about a quarter and a half. What what are you gonna do? Uh statistic I mean not statistically, uh yeah, statistically. What am I talking about? Uh you know, what what are we gonna do that's different that we haven't already tried to to do? Um I think these guys need more time to develop. Uh we we've shown sparks in, in certain areas that, that I think we can build on. Um just a lot of moving parts going on, man. It's a lot of moving parts, man. But I think they will play better, but I don't. I don't think we're gonna uh, come out with the win. Um, we'll be close. They will play hard, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna I'm take Mississippi State. Ah oh, man, like you said, bro, it's a lot of moving parts in Auburn. I hate to hear it. Like every day seems like another player is entering the portal, and you know how it is, man. When you're in the locker room, those conversations, you're talking about it. You, you really, um, and and sometimes that can get you off track. But for some reason, man, I cannot go with Mississippi State and the Cowbells. Um, I think I think that lack finds some way, some way. I don't know if it's with all the alumni guys showing up to support. I don't know if it's just the energy in, uh, uh, for this game right here. But um, I take Auburn to win. You know, we just hired the the AD from Mississippi State. Um, wow. I don't know what that means, but hopefully, it means something. War damn evil. Very interesting. That's very Bye, interesting. Mark. Take, man. Hey, my leech, my leech will give a game away too now. Don't forget that. My leech will give it away. He like a lot of fourth down. So he's a hey. front runner. Hey, come on now. Him and Lane, man, they're the same person. Y'all better not hire Lane. That's nah, all I'm gonna say. They, I, I, they'll I, give I games those, away. I think those two guys different, but uh um, you almost you, you almost had me, Mark. You almost had me because you, you I, I, I like the way you delivered that narrative, man, and, and with, with lack and you know the guys want to play hard and you know, but but I, I'm with Kelly, you, baby. But, it's Kelly. Hey, I, I get that, but <laughs> I'm with Smooth, man. Like we, we we've been there. That only goes so far. Like <laughs> quarter and a half, <laughs> two quarters by halftime. That that the wall off. And now we that now we back down to the nitty gritty, the schematics and the the X's and O's and, and the Jimmy's and Joe's and you know Auburn unfortunately right now we're not there. Uh, I don't think Mississippi State is much better. I think that that you know they're at home. Uh I don't know that our secondary uh can hold up with so with a team like that throwing about 50, 60 times a game. So um, I'm I'm I gotta go uh Mississippi State spread is 13 and a half. The 13 spread is 13. So um I'm going to go Mississippi State here, man. So, I'm going to keep this short. And I'm only going to keep it short because of the fact that I'm not going to do this shit to myself this week again. <laughs> and y'all know how much I love my school. <laughs> and y'all know how my connection is with these young boys on them. Like, and Mark, I appreciate you saying that about them cats. But, man, look at here, dog. We got too many damn questions and not enough answers. I pretty much agree with everything T Bell said, besides one thing. Mississippi State is a, is a lot better than us right now, currently at this moment. Man, what does the offense look like this week, man? We let go of, of head guy and four of the, the guys on the staff. We don't have an OC. Man, I'm curious to see what, what Cadillac and the staff uh, you know, puts together from a plan, man. But again, Mark, man, appreciate you joining in for our predictions to talk ball with us, brother. Uh, let's oh, yeah, get ready man. for another college football Saturday, man. Let's get it.